What is up, everybody? We are making one of the biggest mistakes in the history of the golf swing when we are cocking our wrists. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna talk about what we're doing wrong quickly. We're going to uh, talk about what we should do quickly, and I'm gonna give you a drill to fix it all super quick. Here we go. So what happens is we're all trying to get some lag, some, some the lag, we're trying to lag off, whatever. And the way we're doing it now is, well, a lot of people are doing it. We're all, I mean, it's wrong, but it's that we're trying to cock the wrists and then hold the wrist cock. Just remember, whatever you cock has to uncock. And that's where, well, all the problems arise, right? So you're cocking your wrist. What happens is when you cock your wrist, typically you fling that club inside or you rotate the face wide open or you do both. You're trying to set these wrists, okay? Now, when you do that, then that's wrong in and of itself. But then, what happens is then you're uncocking. Some people uncock up here. That, that's a disaster, right? The early release, it's all because you were trying to cock the wrist. So you got this early release or some people just hang on for the rest of their life and they shank the ball. And if you don't do a, that and you miraculously figure out a way to actually hit the ball, then what, what you're gonna get is inconsistent ball strike because you're manipulating that club face so much going through the hitting area. And if that face is just going like this every time you hit the ball, I mean, good luck trying to time that puppy up every time. I mean, you one day you're gonna hit this shot and that's no good. What does that do? Big left guy. And then the next day you don't uncock enough and you're like, what? And then it goes way right. So we've got all kinds of issues with the wrist cock. So that's the problem with the wrist cock method. Okay, so we don't want to do that. What we want to do, okay, what, we don't even want to consciously think about the wrists because that's gonna get us in trouble. You start thinking about this tiny area, moves all over the place like this, and then that, forget it. So we want quiet hands, quiet wrists. Okay, we're gonna take it back. What we're gonna focus on is the right elbow. We really want the right elbow in our side, okay? It doesn't matter, you can have no wrist cock. If that right elbow is in a good position, then you're gonna have consistency rotating through the ball. And that I could square up every time. But when I add my wrists, good luck. So I wanna learn to do this. So instead of thinking wrist cock, forget about setting the wrist here. I don't care what happens, you could have no wrist going back. But I want that right elbow to get in here, and you're good. From here, you're in the slot and you're ready to attack the ball. And then you can really consistently um, control the club face. And then it will just slightly fade or slightly draw and you'll be fine. So that's where we wanna get to is this position here because then it's just rotation through. But how do we consistently get there? That's the key. Because if we can do that, look at it. Consistent shots is what we're after, whether it's a fade or a draw, but we don't want one day a draw, the next day a fade. So here's the drill we're going to do. Okay. Uh, you're gonna wanna get against the wall here. Easy, do it indoors, okay? And what this is going to accomplish is we're gonna learn how to stay here and not flip our wrists. Because if we can stay here, we'll be good. And we just want to have this move here and feel it through impact. Here's your drill. I want you to get against the wall, okay? Against the wall. And I want you to be, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna grab your club, okay? I want you to grab it about this far, this far from the, the head. About that far. It's pretty good. So, and then you're just gonna, Stick it out against the wall right there. You're good to go. That's how far you're going to stand. Then you're going to take your stance. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to swing the club, get it down into the ball and come through here and don't hit the wall and just rotate here. It's hard, okay? 
If you early release this during the drill, you're going to be doing drywall work later on in the afternoon. So there's some real consequences here to do it right. You're going to have to come in here, hold your elbow in here, rotate through, and just keep holding that. And hopefully you can keep your spine angle down here. It's going to force you to stay in the shot and not do one of these. So you're going to stay in here. You're going to hold, hold this. You're going to have to rotate to get that club face square and hold that going through the entire time. You're just holding here and just doing that. That's the feeling you want. You're taking it back. You're staying in your position, brush the grass. Just feel that and then rotate through and don't hit the wall. If you release, like I said, you're going to have a hole in your wall and uh, that's not going to be good. So here, feel that release. Okay. So you do that like 500 times. Then I want you to have that same exact feeling when you're down in here, right here. But now here you're going to release, but you're going to release way over here. That's where we got to release. We don't release down here with our wrists, right? We're just holding our elbow in turning like so. And after 500 times, you should be hitting pure shots with a consistent club face at impact position. Look at that. Straightest one, eight feet from the center line. That was perfect because we are holding off and we're not making the biggest mistake in the history of wrist cock in our golf swing. Hey, if you want to know more huge mistakes we're making in the golf swing, click right over here. Love you guys. See you next video.